estoy Pensando en ti Solo en ti Lo siento Sé que No sabes de mí Hey, what's up, everybody? Joshua Casper back at you with Plug and Boutique, and it's time for another Two Minute Tuesday. This week, I'm going to be showing you how to get professional delay lines. This is a little trick that you need to know if you want your delays to sound better. Stop cloudying up your mix and just making everything sound kind of muddy and wishy washy in the middle when you just want those delays to be poking out every now and then to fill up the song and add the character that they're meant to be there for. So, for this particular tutorial, I'm using the Repeater Vintage Model Delay by D16 Group. This is an incredible delay unit. It's actually 23 different delay units wrapped up in one. If you see right here, it says delay mode. We have 23 different authentically emulated delay units from back in the day. So uh, if you want to come in here and just try out some of the different flavors and characters of these, you can go ahead and set your other parameters and then just jump into those delay models and flip through to see the different character that they can add to your particular track. That's what I really like about the repeater. And I also really like how they're, the left and the right channels are completely separate and you have complete control over them. And you can do that by just simply unlinking any of these different parameters like the high pass and low pass filtering, the coloring, uh, the pan you can actually control if you want to go, you know, push both lines over to the right, you can do that easily right there. You have mixed level control for both channels independently, feedback, delay time. A couple of other really cool things about the repeater is the ping pong options. You've got the spread, you've got A and B. The A function is a lower intensity with a smaller phase offset, while the B is higher intensity with a larger phase offset. So if you're looking for more ping and more pong, you want to go with B. If you're looking for something a bit more subtle, go with A. And if you don't want it at all, just go ahead with zero. Another really cool feature is the analog button. What this does is emulates old school analog circuitry and old school analog delay units, which as the repeat happens, you actually start to lose upper frequency content or higher frequency content over time. And having this enabled right here inside of the repeater does that same exact thing. You can also invert the phase of one, the other, or both easily enough, click of a button. All right, so let's jump into this tip. Let's go ahead and start the clock, two minutes. So what we wanna do is put re the repeater on a return track. So what I'm gonna do is just go ahead and delete this, add a new return track, return track B, drop the repeater on it. And then we want to go ahead and find a preset or dial in our parameters to make sure we have a good sounding delay. So let's go ahead and do that, solo the vocal. So the first thing we need to do is send that to the return track. And it already sounds phenomenal, but let's just switch up the delay here. So I'm really digging the space delay. It's a little bit dull on the high frequencies. That's what I want, but I'm actually going to roll off a little bit more. Cool. And that's all I'm going to do right here with the repeater. So where the tip comes in is on this return track, we want to side chain that delay signal to the source signal. And that's going to clear up, especially on something like vocals. The vocal needs to stand out and be absolutely clear. And right now we have a vocal conflicting with itself because those delay lines are the same vocal. Uh, it's got a bunch of frequency content in the same range. It's adding, it's causing phasing issues, it's doing all kinds of problems we don't want. So we're going to side chain that signal. So what I'm going to do is jump into audio effects, just use a Ableton Live's compressor here. I'm going to come in, side chain from the vocal. Boom. I'm going to pull down that threshold. I'm going to crank up that ratio. I'll pull the attack time way down, and I'm going to pull down the release fairly conservatively. Obviously, we can come in and adjust all of these parameters after we start to listen. But what I want to do is completely push out or duck this delay until there is no more vocal, and the delay can float back in and we can hear it. So let's listen to this vocal with the compressor bypass. I'm gonna turn it on and turn it off and tell me if you can't hear how much clearer the vocal sounds. So it clearly sounds better. And to use that word again, it clearly sounds more clear when the compressor is on. Now, 
you might want to do that to your reverb as well. So let's do that. I'm going to just jump into here to the repeater, copy, paste, and now let's listen to this. Quiero que sepas de mí, ser amigos, algo así, y después veremos, veremos. I need you cause I like you, boom, bum, 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 bye. I need you cause I like you, boom. So on the reverb, for example, you want to have it a little bit less abrupt, a little bit less strong. You still want that reverb to be happening during the vocal part, but you don't want it to be so much that it's actually overpowering the vocal. You know, doing some additional EQing on that reverb tail is going to help in that regard as well. But, you know, we're really just trying to focus on this delay right now, having that sidechain compressor on it, just ducking that while the vocal is happening to reduce those conflicts and really let your vocal stand out is the way to go. And of course, you can do this on your instrumentation as well. It doesn't need to just be your vocals, but a vocal is a really good way to showcase what I'm talking about here. So that's this week's Two Minute Tuesday, how to get your auto ducking on your delays to make your mixes sound better. And if you're looking for a new delay unit, check out the repeater by D16 Group. 23 delays wrapped up inside of one. They all sound phenomenal. They all sound unique, full of character. Bring your mix to life with the repeater. Anyway, I'm Joshua Casper here for Plug and Boutique. I hope you learned something and I'll see you in the next video.